good morning. Good morning. We've woken up in the most beautiful spot. It's kind of reminded us why we've been working so hard all year, is to get back out into places like this. So yeah, we're just in a really magical, almost like a little valley going down into a, um, basically like a river outlet that flows out to sea. I thought I might have been able to get a little bit of spearfishing in here maybe today because the weather is meant to be really nice today and really nice tomorrow whereas it's been pretty average up until now but um, because there's been so much rainfall all that fresh water has brought in a bunch of tannins and sort of black fresh water in, into the inlet so no spearfishing here yet but um, it's just so good to be um, back out amongst all the native wildlife. Yeah so it's currently day five we took a bit of time off like filming and everything. We just enjoyed a lot of like hiking and stunning ranges. And now we're back around Albany where we spent a lot of time in lockdown last year. But this is a new place, like 50 kilometer out. It's just amazing. So coffee is finished, now I'm making breakfast, just some eggs, some Turkish bread and avocado. So super basic breakfast, but just one breakfast because it's still quite cold this morning. It's pretty crazy, it's spring in Australia, but we are down south, so it takes a bit of time during the day to really warm up. But it's definitely better than in the ranges, like in the mountains a few days ago, it was like two degrees overnight, we were freezing the first morning, but we had beautiful sunrise, a nice day the first day, it was blue sky, really enjoyable to be in the mountains in this condition. Good morning from the Stirling Ranges. <laughs> Man, it was a cold night, but look at this view. Oh boy. So nice. Oh, so good to be back out in the wild. Very basic night's sleep, our box sprung mattress that we picked up for 20 bucks was awful, but don't mind when we get to wake up to that. So, so nice. So we're gonna have coffee, then we're gonna pack up. We're gonna drive about 45 minutes to the start of the Bluff Knoll hike, and um, yeah, get some fresh air.
It's <laughs> making sure. It's making sure. This is the narrowest part of the trail, but we made it in, so we will make it out. Otherwise, we are on our way to our next destination, around 40 minute drive to our little spare fishing and private bay paradise. Right, we made it to destination. All right, so we've got a cool little light duty 4x4 track to do. It's one that we did in the Jeep last year and he really enjoyed it. The idea is to basically practice a little bit with the Mog in a situation that's not going to damage the box if I do anything wrong. So uh, yeah, we'll engage forward drive and uh, take you along for a pretty cool little, uh, little track. cool trail it's actually a bit harder than when we came last time with the jeep so i'm gonna set up the gopro on the way and i'm gonna be slightly lower with the sony very cool here all right see you soon all right gopro is into place i'm gonna go down with the sony now Roger that. <laughs> What comes down must come up. Did you just leave without me? Oh, that was so cool. Very impressed. 
So that is with the tires at road pressure. So I just wanted to test, you know, how often do we actually have to jump out and spend time dropping tire pressures for this sort of stuff? Apparently not at all. So that's really, really cool. So uh, yeah, very, very impressed. When I engage forward drive, basically what happens is it pressurizes the entire drive assembly, I guess you could say, with air. So axles, torque tubes, diffs, so it's a high chance there'll be like an air leak somewhere. Can't see anything. Brilliant. it on all right a tiny bit more passenger yeah you're good there perfect So it's a tiny bit wet and soft. But you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, no obstacles here. to ourselves all right goodbye Baza. see you soon where are we going <laughs> that reminds us some good memories <laughs> it's like off-roading in gentles oh my god it's 
<laughs> Not the appropriate footwear for it. <laughs> oh, so happy. Welcome to paradise. Overview. It's still probably on our top three of all the spots we've been in Australia so far. Just love this place so much. Just so nice to be here. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago we were with like winter clothing and beanie on to hike a mountain. Greetings from the top of a mountain. <laughs> And now I'm on a bikini on a beach. It's just crazy. It's just exactly what we needed. Like a good break and balance between hiking and like now relaxing and sunbathing, spare fishing for cruises, everything we like to do, jam packed in one week. So good. <laughs> so good. This is our Christmas present from Matzos from last year. <laughs> I really wanted personally to keep it until the day we finish the build and that will be like the drink of celebration and victory and everything, but I just can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> I feel like today has been such a good day. It's been so good to be back here and like it brings back so many good memories. I feel like it's a perfect occasion to have some Matzos ginger beer, which we don't drink much, but when we drink, and then there's a photo of the general as well. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. All right, nice got some cool. nice little mug. It's gonna have it's like an tea. alloy mug. Like that noise. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Bowser. <laughs> if you haven't had Matzo's before, it is the best alcoholic ginger beer of all time. It is so good. And the brewery is up in Broome. And it's run by a bunch of legends. So how was your spearfishing experience? Spearfishing was really nice to get in the water, but it was super cold and actually quite murky. So I did spot about five schooling blue groper, but they were juvenile, so they were too small to shoot. There were some other fish, but no prize fish. So I uh, just went for basically a snorkel today, and <laughs> tomorrow I'm hoping the water will be a little bit clearer and a little bit less swell, and I'll be able to get us some food because we have tacos tomorrow night, <laughs> and if I do not deliver with fish, It'll be vegetarian tacos. Yeah, actually vegan tacos. Vegan tacos, <laughs> which is fine, but I would prefer fish tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll just, I guess, chill here after sunset is beautiful spot. And then tomorrow we'll potentially yeah, change location and explore a little island that we found. And we're going to go forward driving tomorrow as well. So oh. I want to check out the diff locks and stuff like that. These are real muddy sections. so. I want to give that a testing, crack. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that'll be on next week's episode, won't it, for you guys, which is our tomorrow. 
So uh, yeah, we're just going to chill the rest of the night and we'll see you next week. Yeah, I hope you like this third episode back into the nature, back into the bush. We have really enjoyed being back here filming. So yeah, can't wait to finish the build and oh, do that full time wait. again. We don't know, we might do a few more camping trips before the build is done, but it'll be nice just to sprinkle some trips in, but still get as much work as we possibly can before the end of the year. That's the yeah. goal. Cheers for See watching. See you next week. Catch you next week.